To start off this tutorial, we will create a new MU by duplicating the existing one, renaming it, and designing a new picture by right-clicking on it and selecting the Edit Icons feature. Now click on Icon, and then New. You can design your new icon as you please. Feel free to play around with this feature. You can also import an image from various formats. Remember to delete the old images. When you are finished, apply changes and close. Now create a frame called Comp Milling. Insert the objects as shown. Now connect them and rename them. Since renaming the objects, the link between drop-off and single proc is now showing an error. It is not recognizing the station, because it does not exist anymore. Fix this error by selecting milling as the station. Don't forget to connect your interface objects. We want the buffer to have a cube length of 10, MUs and we want it to be carried away by a worker. To do this, follow the instructions as shown and click Apply. A new set of options should appear after clicking Apply. We now want to specify the broker and the MU target. This defines to where the worker carries the part.
We will now test comp milling by creating a new frame and connecting it to a source and a drain. Name this frame test milling. Connect the objects in series as shown. When you reset and run your simulation, you will notice the standard entity appearing at the source. We want to change this so that your customized entity is created at the source. Drag and drop your customized entity onto the source to enable this. You can now see your customized entity being carried by the workers. We want to set the end time to be 5 days and we want to view the summary report. Note the throughput. We will now change the amount of workers and see what effect it has on the throughput. This will be done in the comp milling frame. Run the model again and note the throughput. It hasn't changed at all. This shows us that the workers aren't the limiting factor in our model. Let's try and make them the limiting factor. Change the processing time of the milling object to zero and change the amount of workers back to one. Now reset and run your model once more. Note the change in the total throughput. Since we changed the processing time to zero, doubling the amount of workers should, in theory, double the total throughput. Let's verify this. The final step in this tutorial is to add the comp milling frame as an object in our main model. Run your model to view the changes.